Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to talk about how I made this latte art card and the technique used for it. But first I would like to just really briefly talk about what inspired the card. And I wanted to make one card for two different challenges this week. That is a really fun thing to do if you ever really want to challenge yourself, is try to make one card that fits into two challenges. Uh, I did this for the Coffee Lovers blog and they needed a summer you know, a copy card with kind of a summary feel to it. And so I thought that the um, latte art, like when you go get a coffee and they do something cool with the um, the cream on top or crema <laughs> on top, uh, that's kind of what inspired this. And then for the Simon Says Stamp Monday Challenge, you could use any theme, but you just needed to make sure that you used a stencil. So what that resulted in was a very cool textured card. Uh, this is kind of a hybrid stencil because we're using a stencil mask layer created from a die, but we're not removing all of the layers. So um, it's just got such a rich, unique texture. When you look at it, you don't know how it was made. Is it is it embossed? Is it debossed? Is it you know, it's one of those really cool cards, so I can't wait to show you how I did this. The die I used to create the mask was the Mod Flower Background by Poppy Stamps. And the uh, Rectangle Layer Basic Set was used to create the frame around the outer edge. And that frame is actually very, it has a real important purpose to it. It keeps that die that we're not removing secured so that um, you know, those edge pieces don't come up. And so that's why I did the frame. I'm using the Memory Box Large Coffee on the Go. And I embossed the sleeve with the Cuddle Bug Frills, um, one of the little elements from that kit. And it's just a cute little swirl uh, that I really liked. The Inka Dinka Do Stamping Mask Paper um, is a, oh, I just love using this. It's fun. It's paper on one side with an adhesive back. And so we're going to use this kind of uniquely. I cut out a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of cardstock and piece of mask. And we're actually going to, t uh, adhere that mask directly onto the paper before we even do anything. So by, by making this a double layer and cutting the die through both layers, we're creating an interesting texture is what we're doing. And with this die, I did use the intricate die plate just to make sure that it was all cut. I was kind of careful when I removed it, just in case. And then I just pressed it down to make sure there was good adhesion for whatever we were not going to remove. So because we're working with two layers already, I created a third layer, something for that second layer to adhere to by using the Elizabeth Craft Design double-sided adhesive. And this was also going to make it very easy just to stick onto the card base when I was done. But you could just use tape if you didn't have this um, and, and just uh, tape that back really well. And then just make sure it's adhered. I, I just kind of rubbed it a little bit more and then I trimmed the edges. Attaching the elements to this card doesn't take any time at all. This card is all in the prep work, and it's really important to take your time and enjoy the process. I poked out every little tiny hole so that there would be a nice clean separation between the die, and I just took my time doing that. Now, with my first card I made, um, the, even the mask did not come off. In the second card, you'll see right here, the outside layer, there's still all the pieces are glued down, but the outside layer came up. That's no big deal. I probably could have glued down this portion because I wasn't going to remove any of the outside frame. Just those inter pieces were going to be in different layers. So you could glue that down, but that frame is going to keep that, that from coming up. So um, I just didn't glue it down. There, are, there were just a couple pieces that stuck in the die, which was fine. I just flipped the die over so that they could poke out into place there, and it just made it a lot easier. So once all the pieces are back in and adhered, it's time for the fun part. And I had so much fun making this. I started off with Distress Inks, Ground uh, Espresso Vintage Photo, and Antique Linen. And I just, 
you know, every card's going to come out different here. I just used all three colors and would color, remove a layer, color some more, color a new layer. The important thing here is just to have fun. Yep, it's a mess, but it is so much fun. When I was done with the coloring, I attached the frame. This would have been a great time to ink up that ground espresso and make the little cocoa splatters throughout. I waited to the end to do that. Distress inks make a great weight for um, things to dry under, so they, they get some weight on them to dry flat. I used three layers to do the coffee mug and the sleeve and the lid. And I just adhered them all and the embossed section of the uh, sleeve, one on the outside. Using the antique linen distress ink, I just went around the edge just to kind of help it pop just a little bit from the background. And I, I noticed between the two cards that I did, the coffee mug stood out more if I left a little bit more white space in there. I did want to create a little bit of a shadow with that antique linen on the cup, but um, uh, I did leave the second one a little bit wider and I liked that better. Using my finger, I just um, went over the embossed section to help that stand out. Tiny bit around the lid and then I glued it all together. And a tiny bit of worn lipstick applied with my finger for the fingerprints to create the lipstick on the lid effect. After I glued it all together, I did attach some Swarovski crystals. Um, they were kind of a bluish green which really added a nice um, pop of color and between that color and the flowers it helped with that summery feel I was trying to achieve. I applied the uh, mug on with pop dots so that it would sit up off the edge and then it was time to attach the card to the card base. All I had to do was remove the backing to the double-sided adhesive and stick it on. So then I went ahead and did the little cocoa splatters. And like I said before, that could have been done earlier in the video. Probably would have been better to do it that way, but it, it'll work out either way if you do forget. So that was it. That is the latte art card. And again, it was so much fun. And this made a great gift for a coworker. I took a little uh, gift certificate for a coffee for her and told her how much I appreciated her. So I hope you guys have a great day and thank you again for stopping by.